top three healthy desserts. I am so stoked. I had so much fun filming it and eating these delicious, delicious desserts. You guys are going to love the recipes. The video is a bit fast paced, so if you want full in if you want full instructions, they will be in the down bar below as long as all of the measurements and stuff if you don't catch it in the actual video. Because like I said, it's a bit fast paced, but I just wanted to try something new. The first recipe are my probably my favorite of all. They are the peanut butter oatmeal cookies. These are amazing. I literally have them for breakfast because they're not even cookies. Like they're not even bad at all. The only thing is bad is like chocolate chips, but I make sure to get like the organic semi-sweet chocolate chips so they weren't, they were, you know, a little bit better quality than just like Nestle or something like that. Alrighty, let's just get into this recipe and I'm so excited to show you guys. The first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 and the ingredients you're going to need are bananas, peanut butter, applesauce, cinnamon, salt, vanilla, rolled oats, pecans, chocolate chips, and coconut. Grabbing your favorite mixing bowl and mixing all of the ingredients together. Like I said, all the measurements are going to be in the down bar below, so make sure to check that out. I used an electric mixer here just to make sure all the ingredients were incorporated correctly. Yeah, just take that in for a second. 
I love pears no matter what, but then when you add honey on it and it just gets caramelized in honey and then you add caramelized walnuts on there, oh, let's jump right in. I cannot wait to show you guys. The ingredients you're going to need are cinnamon, honey, and walnuts. And of course, the two pears. Here I am just cutting the pears in half and hitting them. I'm kind of putting or making a place to put the walnuts and a bit of the honey. Grabbing a cookie sheet and placing your two pears on there and I'm just sprinkling a dash of cinnamon. I'm actually using a little bit more than a dash because cinnamon to me is just so good, especially with this uh, mixture that I'm using. Next, I'm adding the walnuts. You can be as generous or not as generous as you want with this. And also, if you don't like walnuts, you can use any other type of nut. The last step is adding your raw honey. I think the next time I make it, I would put a little bit more honey just because it makes it so delicious and crispy after it bakes. After that, you put it in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. That is all you have to do. I loved filming it for you guys and I cannot wait 